All right, guys, so you know me. I know you know I've got a couple of Casios like this world time. I picked this up after it blew up on the forums and social media like Instagram. I was like, man, this is cool. So cool, in fact, that under $25, I've picked up a few others because like it's such a great piece. You have so many functions at such a small price. You can beat the hell out of it. But that's as far as my Casio wormhole was going to go. I did not plan on going any further. I was very happy with my two or three world timers. Then, you know, these blew up on the forums. The the uh, Casio Duro 200 meter dive watch. And so I picked it up. It's a cool, cool watch. Looks great on all kinds of straps, including this bracelet. I uh, just loved it. But that's it. That's all I'm doing. No more Casios, right? Then my buddy, Wrist DNA started posting this all the time. Just like literally all the time. So, you know, I know he's a big Casio guy and big G Shock guy. I personally have never owned a G Shock. I uh, never wanted one, never needed one, really. But I keep looking at it. Dang it. All right, guys, we're back. I'm wearing my Speedmaster because it is Tuesday, and that's just kind of the rule in my household. Love this thing, Speedmaster Automatic Date, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about this. Again, thanks a lot, Wrist DNA. I really appreciate your uh, bad influence. I guess you guys know what's in here, but uh, let's go ahead and do an unboxing and uh, take a look at it. Y'all ready? Here we go. Let's pop this top. Go ahead and open these flaps. One more flap. Full disclosure, I've already looked at this before that uh, I filmed this. I just could not wait. But anyway, we're going to pull this tin out of the uh, box. Take a look at what's in the box here. So you get a bunch of paper. It's uh, it's old school paper. It's not pictures. You're, you actually have a ton of writing. We're going to put that to the side. I can't stand videos where they spend 30 minutes talking about the instruction manual. I'm sure you guys can't either. So the tin, nice and sturdy, looks like every other G-Shock tin. So let's pop this top. And I just threw something, what is this? This is the uh, Casio warranty. So uh, probably a good idea on a uh, watch that's generally $40 but uh, 500 in metal. Probably a good idea to keep that warranty. But uh, yeah, let's take a look at this thing. So they're calling this, or at least uh, the social media guys, they're calling this the uh, Casio Square Full Metal. Uh, I think I've got that right. This is my first foray into the uh, G-Shocks, so I'll have to let you know how this goes. Sorry about the bad lighting. I could not wait. It's a lot heavier than I thought it would be. A uh, lot sturdier clasp, a lot sturdier bracelet, and just, just a real presence. So if we put this on, definitely going to be too big uh, as far as links go, but fits really, really well. I threw it on my right wrist because of my Speedmaster on my left, but just fits very, very well and well protected. Let's go ahead and get this off. So we've got more plastic on the uh, bracelet and the clasp and the case back, but I'll get that in a little bit. So the case back is a screw on case back, which is also pretty impressive. Uh, you have extra micro adjusts on the uh, 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 bracelet there, the, the clasp, so that's good. It really bugs me when there's no micro adjust. Uh, beautiful, 
Beautiful front end with that plastic off of it. I'm gonna throw it on here next to my Speedmaster. It just came back from uh, servicing. So this is uh, newly polished. You can see the polishing on this Casio is really close to the polishing on my Omega, which is very impressive. The weight is actually about the same. Uh, I've gone ahead and adjusted it. You can see it fits really well on my six and three quarter wrist. Uh, I had to take six uh, links out and we're going to talk about how uh, how the links come out because that was kind of interesting and I love this light this kind of pale blue light it's different than the uh, $40 Casio light uh, different than my world time lights but let's look at those links so the links are built just like uh, any other links but you can see there's no arrows on the bottom to tell you which direction to push there's no screws on the side but it looks like pins but it's actually not pins what it is is uh, uh, and you're going to use a pin actually to go into this hole and you're going to push and once you feel that give you're going to pull it apart what's in there is a little teeny tiny if i can pick it up it's a little teeny tiny um spring bar right in the middle uh i i uh i was really impressed by this actually i wish more companies would do this it's a little spring bar so you don't need your traditional changing tools all i used was literally this push pin to uh, uh disengage the uh, spring bar and then I used a uh, flathead screwdriver from my uh, watch tool case to uh, take that screw, that screwdriver in, that flathead, and just kind of pop the edge of the spring bar back in once I had one side in. Traditionally, you would put them in one of these vices, uh, use either a, a hammer and push pin or use a... Uh, uh, changing tool, but I didn't need to do any of that. So I wish I wish more companies would do it. I was very impressed by it. Uh, I love the look of this piece. I love the weight. I love the size. I'm just shocked at how nice this is. Even at five hundred dollars, yeah, five hundred dollars, you would expect it to be pretty damn nice, since that you know your plastic version is forty dollars. But you know, on the wrist, it's just super, super comfortable. Uh, I don't think it'll come off my wrist for quite a while, actually. Uh, and I've got the time set. The time set is a world time, so it's super easy. Uh, it's Bluetooth, so you literally just find the city you're closest to, and it sets the time and the date for you. Uh, I just, I'm very impressed. I appreciate Wrist DNA and all the other guys on uh, Instagram and on all the other forums that are just raving about this piece comes in black gold and polish i went with polish hope this has been a nice little unboxing for you guys please like subscribe all that good stuff and follow me guys and we'll do a more in-depth coverage once i've worn it for a while hope you have a great night talk to you soon bye bye